The Boy Who Cried Wolf, as retold by Mark Pennington. There once was a naughty shepherd boy who lived in a small village. One day this boy was sitting at the top of a hill and was very bored. As he watched the sheep under his care, he came up with an idea to entertain himself. He turned in the direction of the village, and at the top of his lungs he began screaming, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! The villagers immediately left their business and came running up the hill to help the boy scare the wolf away. But when they made it to the top of the hill, they found no wolf. Instead, they found the naughty boy laughing at the joke he had played on them. Never cry wolf, shepherd boy, scolded the villagers, when there is no wolf. They went back to the village very angry. The very next day, the naughty boy was bored again. I wonder if the trick will work again, he thought. He went up to the top of the hill, turned toward the village, and once again screamed, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! Once again he howled with laughter as he watched the villagers run up the hill to help him scare the wolf away. When the villagers again found no wolf, they scolded the boy once more, saying, Save your screaming for when there really is something wrong. Don't ever cry wolf when there is no wolf. But the boy just laughed and watched them go down the hill to the village once more. The next day, the naughty shepherd boy was again very bored. As he was dreaming up more mischief, he heard the bleeding of his sheep. He ran toward the sound, and then he saw what caused the sheep to cry. A huge wolf was prowling about his flock of sheep. Once again, he ran to the top of the hill and shouted, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! But the villagers had learned their lesson. They all said, There goes that naughty shepherd boy playing his games once again. So the villagers did not come. At sunset, some of the villagers wondered why the shepherd boy hadn't yet brought the sheep down to the village. They went up the hill to find the boy. They found him with his head down, crying. Then they found out why he was crying. The flock was scattered everywhere, and two sheep were dead. I cried out, Wolf, why didn't you help me? An old man responded, That's what happens to those who lie. Sooner or later, no one believes them. The Boy Who Cried Wolf, as retold by Mark Pennington, a think aloud using the SCRIP, S-C-R-I-P, comprehension strategies as found in the Teaching Reading Strategies program. Today's focus, S for Summarize. The Boy Who Cried Wolf There once was a naughty shepherd boy who lived in a small village. One day this boy was sitting at the top of a hill and was very bored. As he watched the sheep under his care, he came up with an idea to entertain himself. He turned in the direction of the village, and at the top of his lungs he began screaming, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! To summarize, a shepherd boy with a very lonely job is sitting at the top of the hill minding the sheep and tries to come up with an idea to entertain himself. And so he pretends that a wolf has been bothering his sheep. The villagers immediately left their business and came running up the hill to help the boy scare the wolf away. But when they made it to the top of the hill, they found no wolf. Instead, they found the naughty boy laughing at the joke he played on them. Never cry wolf, shepherd boy, scolded the villagers, when there's no wolf. They went back to their village very angry. To summarize, the villagers did respond to the boy's cries for help. 
but they were very angry when they found out that there was no danger. The very next day, the naughty boy was bored again. I wonder if the trick will work again, he thought. He went to the top of the hill, turned toward the village, and once again screamed, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! Once again he howled with laughter as he watched the villagers run up the hill to help him scare the wolf away. To summarize, for a second time, the boy plays the trick on the villagers, and again they're very angry at the boy for pretending that there's danger. The next day, the naughty shepherd boy was again very bored. As he was dreaming up more mischief, he heard the bleeding of his sheep. He ran toward the sound, and then he saw what caused the sheep to cry. A huge wolf was prowling about his flock of sheep. Once again he ran to the top of the hill and shouted, Wolf! Wolf! The wolf is after the sheep! To summarize, the third time that the boy calls for the villagers to help, there really is a wolf bothering the sheep. But the villagers had learned their lesson. They all said, there goes that naughty shepherd boy playing his games once again. So the villagers didn't come. At sunset, some of the villagers wondered why the shepherd boy hadn't yet brought the sheep down to the village. They went up the hill to find the boy. They found him with his head down crying. Then they found out why he was crying. The flock was scattered everywhere, and two sheep were dead. To summarize, the villagers ignored the boy's cries for help the third time, and it resulted in two sheep under his care dying at the paws of the wolf. I cried, wolf, why didn't you help me? An old man responded, that's what happens to those who lie. Sooner or later, no one believes them. To summarize, Constant lying produces a lack of trust, and people will not believe constant liars.